I've had a request for people to, you know, how do you do this side-by-side -side transition? And I'm going to show you that tonight. Now, this is widescreen with two wide screens. You can do two standard size, four by threes, and uh, you can do a widescreen and a non-widescreen. And we're going to show you where to find that transition and uh, how to get it into your computer and how to use it tonight. First thing we have to do is a little bit of homework here. And we have to add a folder to your movie maker. And to do that, you have to know whether you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit computer. Go to Start, Control Panel, and go to System, S-Y-S-T-E-M. You get a whole bunch of information about your computer right here where it says System Type, 64-bit Operating System. If you have a 32-bit operating system, it will say 32-bit operating system. Please remember whether you have a 32-bit operating system or a 64-bit system. That's very important. Next, go to Start. And you can click on Pictures, Music, Documents, any one of them that you want to click on because we're going to use what's here in the left-hand column, Windows Explorer. If you happen to have a Vista computer running Windows Movie Maker 6, your Windows Explorer will look a little different. Yours will be expanded and you'll just have a whole list of stuff, a solid list all the way down through here. Windows 7 and probably Windows 8, it's all pressed into sections. You want to scroll down to Computer. Under that, you will see C. If you don't see C, click on the little triangle. If you have Vista, it will be a plus sign and you'll see C. Click on the triangle with a plus sign next to C to expand it. Now, I have Windows 7, and you have two kinds of program files. You have one that just says Program Files and one under it that says Program Files by 86. If you have a 64-bit computer, you will have two. Now, listen closely. If you are using Windows Vista, any kind of Windows Vista, or if you have a 64-bit Windows 7 computer or a 64-bit Windows 8 computer, you are going to use program files. If you have a Windows 7 32-bit computer or a Windows 8 32-bit computer, you will use program files by 86. So I'm just, since it's done the same way in both of them, I'm only going to do it once. But remember, Vista or Windows 7 64-bit or Windows 8 64-bit, Program Files, Windows 7 32-bit or Windows 8 32-bit, Program Files by 86. What you're going to do is click the triangle of the plus to expand your program files. You're going to scroll down to Movie Maker. You're going to click the triangle of the plus sign to open it. And you'll have two folders inside, NUS or Shared. Right-click on the Shared file. In the context menu that appears, go all the way down to New and click on Folder. And you're going to type in capital A, D, D, capital O, N, capital T, capital F, capital X, and press Enter. You're not going to get a pop-up. I already have that file. This pop-up is telling me I already have that file. And um, do you want to merge them? No. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to create an add-on TFX folder inside your shared folder that's inside of the Movie Maker folder. And if you'll excuse me, I'm going to delete the one I just created here. There we go. Okay. And we're going to put the code for our new side-by-side -side transition in this folder. Okay. Second thing you have to do is you have to download Rayhan Shader TFX because a lot of the extras, and there are a lot of extras for Windows Movie Maker 6, a lot of them, probably at least 50% of them, use the free version of this to run. So open your browser, and you're going to type in the URL as www.rehanfx.org. And what's new, right in the front on the first page, for Vista Shader TFX for Windows Movie Maker 6. Click that. 
you go down. No, I don't want you to be my default. I'll talk about the $15 in a minute. Don't panic. You have two versions. If you have a 32-bit computer, you will do download and install the 32-bit version. If you have a 64-bit computer, you will download and install the 64-bit version. Okay, that's very simple. doesn't matter what your operating system is. It's just by the kind of computer you have, 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, what's with the $15? Shader TFX is shareware. It has a 14-day trial. At the end of 14 days, it reverts to the freeware edition. Now, it comes with a load of uh, chroma key. You'll see it up here. Uh, the features, chroma key, PIP, gradient wipes, um, lots of transitions, overlays, borders, splits or split videos, masking, etc. It uh, comes with a whole lot of extras. Now, at the end of the 14-day trial period, some of them, like I know the chroma key doesn't work, some of the splits won't work, but the program will not be crippled. And most importantly, just because you have that freeware version on your computer, all of these extras that depend on the shader TFX to run will run for you. And in a minute, I'll show you what those are. So you do not have to pay the $15. That's fine. Okay, you'll have 14 days of everything working. And then at, on the 15th day and beyond, some of the things will work. Some of them won't. It'll still be a great addition to your Windows Movie Maker 6. If you decide you can't live without doing some green screening and want to pay the $15 but don't have a PayPal account, contact Rayhan at support at rayhaneffects.org and you can make arrangements to pay him some other way. Okay, so you're going to download and install that shader. Now, what's next? Let me show you the code. This is the XML code. We have to turn this. Right now, it's just sitting here in Word and it's just words. We have to turn this into an XML file. How do you do that? Click and drag to highlight. And make sure you catch all the little carrots, the little pointy things. Right click and copy it. Then go to start all programs. Scroll down, down, down to the accessories folder. Open it up. Look for notepad. There's notepad right here. Click on it where the cursor is right click and paste now we need to save this use file save as and you're going to save it somewhere you can get to I'm just going to save mine in pictures you can save it to desktop wherever you can remember it is and find it easily important thing here is the name we're going to call this side by side dot x m L. It has to have .xml at the end of the name to be an XML file or it won't work. The, the type of file is it's just a plain old text file, but Windows and Movie Makers are going to use it in a special way, so it has to have the .xml at the end, and then just click Save. Okay, it says it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Okay. Now you can close all these guys up. Now, go back to go back to where you saved it. I saved mine in pictures. And let's go down here to the S's, wherever they are. Well, let's go to there. My pictures, it's easier. Everything will be in here. There it is, side by side. Find your XML file right click and copy it then go back to windows explorer and find your add-on tfx file okay go find computer expand c go to program files go down to movie maker expand movie maker expand shared there's your add-on tfx folder right click on it and click paste. Now this says, hey, you already have one in there, okay. Because I've done this before. Okay. And then if you open your add-on TFX file by clicking once on it, 
go down to the S's you will see your side-by-side -side file in there you can see I have a lot of extras I've added okay there's your side-by-side -side file now how do we use it we are going to open movie maker 6 and I'm going to use two widescreen files right off the bat here one's longer than the other and if you'd like it's best to try to get clips that are about the same size unless you're just putting one inside the other which I'll show you in a minute go to transitions and because you'll see there are a bunch of icons here these are Blaine Blaine has a ton of great transitions and there are your Rayhan that's the chroma keys etc here are your picture and pictures tons of stuff all of them are tweakable here are some of your wipes and transitions and because I didn't make an icon boom this is what it looks like boxes I notice I have two of these this is what yours is going to look like a box with a red X in it and instead of saying side by side it will say shader TFX static side by side center 12 because I what we do those of us that don't know enough to write our own code from scratch you borrow another FX um, an XML file and you just make changes to it so I used one of Rayhan's XML files for picture in picture and I just changed it so I could put two whole videos side by side in the same picture so static T the shader TFX static side by side center 12 just click and drag it down the transition track will open Click and drag the clip on the right a little bit into the left so you can see the transition down here. And then click and drag the transition in. And there you go. That's how your transition works. Now I expanded this a little bit so I want you to be able to um, see how this transition sits in the middle here. What if we wanted to use, let's undo here. What if we wanted to use a widescreen clip with a non-widescreen clip? That's possible too. Let's put a non-widescreen clip in. Let's go back down. And one nice thing about having the box with a red X in it is that you can find these really fast. Slide the right one over a little till you can see the transition. And click and drag the transition, not the clip in. And there you go. I have the wide screen on the left and the wide screen on the right. What happens if I want to put, I want to show, uh, I'm going to split this. What if I want to show a double screen like that in the middle of another clip? That's also possible. Now remember, you're going to be dragging these things to the left. So if you want your clip to be in the middle, you want to split the first clip, the one on the left, a little bit to the right. Click and drag your the clip you want in the middle, right to the middle. Add your transition to it. Squeegee it in a little. Drag it in. And you can be watching some flowers. And you can be watching two. And then you can be watching one again. Okay? So all of that is possible. Now, that's about the end here. That's how you use them. Uh, some of these transitions you cannot add, unfortunately. I tried it because we only have one transition track here and it's got the the um, uh, side by side transition. It. You cannot add transitions, you know, to kind of fade in and fade out one, one to another. It just doesn't work. You can do some fade to black and fade to white effects kind of things at the beginning and the ends but you cannot do it to the middle where this transition is. If you've ever thought that G Movie Maker is so dull and boring, once you can actually add things to it and you know more how it works and you can tweak things, uh, you can have a whole lot of fun with it. And I hope this helps and I hope you enjoy your new transitions and titles and credits and effects.